She has been on Pittsburgh Today Live all week and last Friday as well, but she has a show, several shows, stage shows. There's the stage. <laughs> yeah, look at it. She has a, a real big setup over there. I mean, you have an audience space and you're ready to go. Oh, yeah, it's a big stage. It's usually like that. You, you call Looks it a good. comedy show, too. Which I do because it's fun. <laughs> yeah. Well, we make you laugh. We have you learn. You know, we do it all together. It's good morning. Good, good morning. morning. Good to see you again. Nice to see you. And we always have interesting finds, so you have something really cool from one of our friends here at PTL, Terry. Yeah, it's po um, pocket watch. So pocket watches will either pop open mm -hmm. or you can unscrew them like a pill bottle, which I might need, actually. <laughs> um, but basically what you've got here is the blue steel handles will, hands will actually tell you a little bit about date. Oh. So if you see blue steel hands, you probably have a piece that dates between 1885 and 1915. Very cool. Yeah, so that's a little easier way to date something as opposed to looking inside. This one has Arabic numbers, so it's going to be after the 20th century, about 1900, 1915, and value on this one, about $150. Very cool. We were yeah. taking bets. What did All you right. say this morning? I think I said 225 Something like that. Bad. Yeah. Close. Yeah. Close. Yeah. Right. And then we had some great things from the show. We had some, some folks who brought some really interesting objects, and um, some of the objects, interestingly enough, were very, very old. This is my new friend Joe. He's 90 years young, oh. and he brought a early Roman, circa 1000 A.D. tear vessel. What? So there what was a belief that? in the in the Roman, and you see it's terracotta, little vessel, uh -huh. little tiny jar. There's a belief, of course, in the Roman world, in the ancient world, that as you cross over into the other world after you pass, that you would have tears, and you'd bring your tears with you. Very fascinating, oh. and that's what that was. That was the real thing. And interestingly enough, that particular piece was one which doesn't come to market all that often. It was worth about fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars. Wow! Yeah, it was in perfect shape. He had it in a little tiny cigar box with some tissues and an elastic band. He was a riot. So where did that come from? Where did he find it? Because I was it was the it actually story. was near Naples. Okay. It actually was dug up near Naples by a friend who was an archaeologist in the nineteen sixties in a time when it wasn't so much frowned upon for you to remove something from a site. Oh, I see. So, yes. Interesting. okay. Um, you also had another uh, war uniform. This is from World War II. Yeah, this was also rare. You know, I've seen a lot of World War II uniforms. Uh, many people, you know, have them in the closet from dad or granddad. This one was quite rare and unusual. It was a junior WAC uniform. It was a size for a teenager, a teenage girl, wow. who would have helped out the way the WACs, the women would actually um, help the war effort in many different ways. That one was for children, children, well, young adults to actually help out. That was amazing. That was worth about $250, but pretty interesting. We had a great uniform, a military uniform on Friday. Would you appraise that one? And I forget, was that from World War II as well? Yeah, it was pretty interesting. The uniforms, yes, we did. We had a, an actual um, audience member who brought in, you know, her dad's hat, hat and such. Yeah. yeah, so you can keep them. If you have the whole uniform intact, that's great. And go easy on the mothballs. Right, oh. okay, good to know. That's yeah. good to know. Now, there's also a tray of something that was brought by a woman named Lynn. Actually, it looks like a tray, but what that is, is that is a container box. Lynn brought um, a spinach jade tea set. And if you can see, you can see the teapot sort of in the lower center portion and the tea cups. That was a full set that her dad brought back from Southeast Asia, and that particular set was worth just about $500. It was gorgeous, gorgeous. Aww. Lotus blossoms decorating it. And people love seeing you here. In fact, you even had one person bring you some food in. Oh my gosh, they're, they cook for me. It's like, do you want stuffed cabbage, Dr. Lori? <laughs> you know, I mean, all kinds of stuff. And Margie here is nice enough to uh, put her baking skills to the test. Aww. She's a very good baker and she's very sweet. She comes to the shows and she always brings me something to make sure my hips are in check. <laughs> a little bit of baking. <laughs> so but nice. They're, they're, Pittsburgh's been very, very good to me. I don't have to tell you. It's this very city, true. this city is something else. Well, yes. thank you so much, Dr. Lori. And thank remember, you. you can come and see Dr. Lori here at the Home and Garden Show. Please only bring one item only per person. Uh, if it's too big, you can bring some pictures of the item and here are her hours. Thursday, you can come down tonight, 7 o'clock, and this weekend as well. There are her hours.